Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Daz. I'm Office Bloke Mike. Here we are, the two of us. Yeah. Patrons, your thing. Check out the link in the description below. Loads of stuff on there, all starting for a bargain price of just uh, one pound fifty a month, which helps support the channel. And, it does uh, indeed. Really yeah, good. We're, also, we're almost coming to the end of um, the Last Dance, so if you want to watch along with that, uh, watch along that with us. It's absolutely brilliant. Really enjoying it, aren't we? Yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, news coming soon of what we're doing next as well. Correct. Yeah. All good. But uh, heading over to a bit of donut operator. Yeah. Love yeah. the donut. Absolutely. Superb. Always good. Yeah. yeah. Huge truck destroy. Huge truck destroys cop car Ooh, shooting breakdown. Yeah. Mm. Does it say where it is? This, this won't end well. It. Yeah. Can't see what it says there, but we'll uh, we'll get into it. Eh? Yeah. Let's go. Ah! Oh. Hi everyone, Donut here. Are you ready for some semi-pro monster truck action? I can tell you who is. The officers in this video are completely unfazed by almost getting crushed like a beer can multiple times by a felon. I'm serious, these cops responded so fast, you would think that they trained for monster truck combat. See giant monster trucks, shoot at monster truck. All right, it's not really a monster truck. It's just kind of lifted. Still, it runs over these police cars pretty easily. It probably costs a lot of money. That guy's gonna be in prison for a while and he's not gonna be able to pay that bill which means he's gonna rack up some debt good thing we have our sponsor for the video pds debt do you say what i've noticed as well over here that when you see cars ramming like cop cars like that now yeah cops are starting to take it back and then and, and, and crash into cars that don't know felons that are trying to get away so they should do yeah. really yeah. If, they, if they can obviously safely without endangering the yeah. public but i mean if the cars are going to get smashed anyway yeah. and use it as a you know, mm. as a tool to, to stop, stop people yeah i'm yeah. seeing it more and more from what it, for what it used to be because they never yeah they never used to do it did they especially if the you know dangerous people and you know they've got to be stopped aren't they yeah. one way or the other yeah. Com slash donut. Now let's break down this shooting. That's right, shooting and trucks running over police cars was involved. This isn't even Florida. Dallas, Texas, July 25th, 2024, Dallas. 1 p.m. Dallas police officers got a notification that there was a stolen truck in an apartment complex in Northwest Dallas. I meant Northeast Dallas. But who cares? I'm here for the violence. The Dallas police sent some undercover sneaky boys to do sneaky boy stuff. That's right, jump out boys. They went over there to confirm that the truck is the one that was stolen. How do you do, fellow kids? What? <laughs> Once confirmed, the jump out boys called some other officers to come help them out make the arrest. Which is a really good thing because if you guys didn't know, vehicle theft in Dallas is super high right now. Actually up 40% in the past three years, which was at wow. almost 20,000 vehicles wow. stolen per year. That's more than 1,500 a day. <laughs> What? Stolen vehicle day. rates have increased Jeez. significantly since 2021 from 11,219 that year to 18,769 in 2023. What's crazy is that's still not number one in the nation. Dallas comes in at fifth place. Houston's definitely got to be before Dallas. Come on. Understandably, officers didn't want the suspect to escape, so the cops plan to block the truck in. Hmm, what's going to happen? Yeah, he's got to sit there by himself. Looks like he's on the phone. Got it, though. They're running, do y'all mean to pull out ahead of him? Get a little more blocked. Is I pulling behind him or just following behind? I'd say falling behind so he can't. Tell him we're pulling out. I'd say falling behind him so that way he can't hit the going to reverse. Alright, we're pulling up. Um, we're pulling up. We're pulling up now. Alright, keep on coming. Uh, keep on going. He turns off the dumpster. He's two over from the blue raptor. Sounds like a good plan. I mean, unless the suspect takes off and tries to crush the officers in their own vehicles, especially if they have a jacked up, don't give a f truck like this guy does. I'm not a fortune teller, but let's see what happens. We're gonna watch this from the lead officer's point of view first. God damn it! You good? It's a big ass truck as well. It's a big truck. Oh, yeah. Huge, isn't it? We don't have them that big over here. No. I think the biggest we get over here is probably, I mean, you get the odd ones. You might yeah, you get the odd Ram and stuff like that, but most of them, we do have the, we do have the Ford Ranger, uh, which yeah. is it's not it's not the same size as what you get the big trucks in the USA. Don't know, it's um, I've seen one of my mates has got one. He's got like a, I can't remember. He's got, I think he's got a Ram, uh, but it's like it's huge. Yeah, the proper big ones are yeah. absolutely twice the size of the ones yeah, yeah, yeah. we have over yeah, here. Yeah, without a doubt, you wouldn't really be able to drive it much over here down the, some some of the roads. Yeah, we've got the roads have no. Race. <laughs> no, <laughs> ramming the police lines. I mean, what what the technique is over here? We can't have the uh, the bull bars on the front of cars over here. That's right. Like yeah, they, like they have in the USA. So yep. what the cars do over here? They get chased. They stop very uh, aggressively and then slam it in reverse and try and take out the engine. Like yeah, the radiator that's right. In the, yeah, uh, yeah. And the police car to stop it from running. That's the technique they use, that's what isn't they do, it? Yeah. Mm. Running, 
we don't have time. We're coming in hot now. Hold on. I'd say follow it behind him, Tyler. He can't hit the go in reverse and go over that hump. We're pulling him back. I'll keep on coming. Keep on going. Your turn's on the dumpster. He's too prepped. And that's what it looks like to have your patrol vehicle crushed by a truck. God, how are you even still alive? If that truck would have kept going, all those airbags would have done shit against those brand new Michelin tires. Let's take a look at it again from the officer in the passenger seat's body cam. God damn it! Good. After these two officers take a beating, the suspect decides to ditch the vehicle and make a run for it, which we can see here in the apartment surveillance cameras. Yeah. Another one there. What's really impressive also, is that these officers nearly got almost almost drove over him. Yeah, almost, did. I don't yeah. Even, don't, I think one of them fell out the van, fell out the That's car, right. yeah, the truck, yeah. and it's uh, it's kind of like rolled back a little bit. Yeah, just stopped before it got to him. Crushed by okay. that piece of shit truck. They got smashed in the face by airbags and still didn't hesitate to chase down this son of a. Of course, these are experienced criminals, so they scatter like roaches when you open a drawer in a Section 8 apartment. But our jump out boys do a pretty good job at rounding them up. Let's take a look at some footage from the officer in the lead car. One of the suspects actually shot at him during the chase. Get up! What we saw there is that the officer was in pursuit when someone behind him fired, possibly trying to kill him and his partner. So they changed targets and returned fire. Here's a better angle of the exchange. Jackie, he took off his hat. Black male. He dropped his gun over here. He dropped his gun over here. Let him do it. Now we have to change perspective because while all this is going on, one of the officers was able to detain a suspect at the very beginning of the pursuit. You might have seen one of the thieves hit the ground immediately. Oh, wow. Dude almost got crushed by his own getaway vehicle. Let's see why he decided to do that. Oh, dude. on top of him. He's on top of him. Shit. That's a ram. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Stay on the ground. Don't fucking move. I don't go with Kevin now. He's got the shooter. That officer saw a bunch of dudes get out of that truck holding guns. So that officer started blasting. Now, I'm not sure if any of the suspects fired at the officer at this point, but it doesn't really matter. They just tried to kill officers with their truck. The weapons in their hands didn't help their case either. Tennessee versus Garner is a case law out of guess where. It says that you can use deadly force against a fleeing suspect if there is a threat of death or bodily harm to a civilian or to an officer. But that one suspect was smarter than all of his friends and just hit the ground. Now, back to the first two officers that almost got turned into ground beef. They both could continued their chase of the suspect, the one that shot at them, and eventually found him with the help of other officers. Don't you move! Get on the ground now! 
One in gun point! West southwest corner! He's on a white shirt! Look out! Look! I see him. Go! Oh, yeah, face yeah, yeah. down! Yeah, I see him there. Don't you move! He's behind the fences. Or he's behind the building near the fence corner. You can flinch! I'll put a hole in you, mother! What amazes me is to always know where it is. It's in the southwest corner. I know, like, right? Yeah. How? How do you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, yeah. well, could be anywhere. Yeah, yeah. If someone said to me, point southwest, and I'd be like, I have no idea. It'd be, a, it'd be just a guess. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow. I wanted to stop right there because this part perfectly sums up how the officers feel about doing the paperwork. This report's gonna be long. You have a vehicle accident with patrol cars, suspect's car, shooting from the suspect, shooting at the suspects. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be the one to type up this report. You hit. Yeah, hit. God damn it. But that's only two suspects caught from this so far. We got two more. Let's find the next one. This is an important one because he's the driver of the murder truck. He seemed to have a clean getaway from all the chaos and shooting at the very beginning. They only have so many officers to chase four suspects who are shooting at them. But luckily, our friends, the Jump Out Boys, were there. So they took off after him. You may not have been able to hear it, but the suspect had some choice words for the arresting <laughs> officer. He said, you don't have to be so aggressive, which yeah. is pretty... <laughs> coming from a dude that tried to yeah. run over the officers with a truck only moments before. The thing is, officers get hurt or killed when they assume the suspect has calmed down. Police aren't going to be too quick to put down their guard with someone who nope. just tried to kill them. But there are still... Exactly. Will he, he also looked <clears throat> shit himself when he's... He looked... He had fear in his face. Oh, he did. Yeah. yeah. He, he thought... Time's up. Yeah. Yeah. That could be a gun or a... Could be, yeah, it could be it's game one over. One false move yeah. and mm. you would have thought it, yeah. wouldn't they? So... Yeah. Will be people, especially wow. on the internet, who will say these officers were too rough with the suspect. Unfortunately, one of these suspects did get away at the time of this video. Still out there, one of the passengers, this young man right here, who I'm sure you mistook for a NASA astronaut, is wanted for double murder. <laughs> he killed two teenagers earlier this year while he was wow. buying a Glock switch from them. And let's not forget the arsenal that these future doctors had on them. Look at these pieces of shit. Of course, they got the stick mags. That's a lot of firepower to have, though, just hanging out. Even the chief of police in Dallas agreed that they probably weren't just going on a joyride. They were up to no good. They were most likely at that apartment complex to murder or rob someone. And officers just happened to intervene. Check out pepperbox.tv to see my uncensored content and all my friends' uncensored content. That's all for Dallas today, but if you want to help support the channel. Mm. Yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, it looks looks like they might have averted a, like a worse crime there by the look of it. Yeah, just, I don't I think why they were pulling him over in the first place. There's obviously a reason behind pulling him over. Um, I think they just got heads up that it was a stolen vehicle ah, okay. i think that's right. where it was wasn't right. it originally there were it was said. like on the, on the list yeah. of stolen vehicles yeah. and i think a couple of officers had found where it was so nice truck as well they called them back up wasn't it, it was yeah really nice yeah, the arsenal of uh, gear they had on them as well and oh yeah people. dangerous people obviously yeah, they're not to kill people aren't mm. they basically you know you're not there to pussyfoot around are you when you've got so weapons like that he's wanted for a double murder already well exactly yeah yeah, yeah. So, bad news man bad news uh, yeah enjoy it though always good with donut he is yeah. excellent. So hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.